First two hybrid smart buses will get rolling along Gratiot and Woodward. Action News reporter Val Clark is live right outside Broadcast House with a sneak peek at one of the buses. Val, how's it looking? Oh, incredible. We have a very special visit here. The smart bus system is going green and going big. Really, really big. We're going to introduce our old friend and uh, Michigan main booster, John Hertel. Hi, Val. Uh, GM of Smart. Tell us all about this beauty. Well, there are three great things to tell you. First, it carries twice as many people. Secondly, and very importantly, it uses half as much fuel. And thirdly, really importantly, it's very green. That means it puts out 60% less pollution. That's remarkable. We all know what it's like to be behind a bus and get uh, all that pollution. Yeah, we think it's going to be great because we can carry so many more people. We're going to be operating it by the end of the month on both Gratiot and Woodward. And we're going to have two of these operating. And next spring, we're going to bring three more uh, hybrids in to continue to change over the fleet. Now, uh, a lot of buses in the fleet, this is really just going to be a, such a small portion. Why? Well, we don't have the money. Uh, this is a federal stimulus package that allowed us to buy these. We were able to buy two now and three next year. And we're in a situation where as we can eventually create a regional transit authority, we would get more federal dollars and we could have more of these buses. And we're all hoping for that regional authority, John. I know you'll keep working on it and you can begin to see uh, this hybrid bus and the second one next month. And uh, again, on Gratiot and Woodward, not just the Detroit, but the suburbs as well.